Hey everyone, Charlie here with Plugin Alley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up the Blasting Room as a multi-out instrument. We're going to be doing this in Reaper, so if you don't use Reaper, make sure to go to the site and find the multi-out tutorial that has to do with your DAW. And if you do use Reaper, then sit down because you're about to get learned. So, we're going to make a new track, we're going to call it the Blasting Room. And then we're going to open out a 64 out instance of contact, reason being we need about 24 outputs from contact to get the full experience of the Blasting Room. We're not going to open up one of these instruments. We're actually going to go over here to a preset that comes to the Blasting Room called the Br Blasting Room Signature Series, called the Blasting Room Signature Series Drums Multi Out. We're going to select that, and it's actually going to save us a lot of time because it pre routes all of the internal routing and contact to be a specific output for each one of our channels. So you can go see the channels over here. Kick in is going to channel output, kick in. Kick in is coming out of output three of contact. Kick sub to kick sub. Kick subs coming out of output four. So on and so forth. And so this is really useful, but. There are no tracks right now in Reaper receiving any of these outputs. So all of it's routed out. Nothing's coming out of output 1 and 2. So if we went to try and listen to a groove right now, you wouldn't be able to hear anything, but you'd be able to see the samples firing off. But nothing's coming through because there's no tracks in Reaper receiving this sound right now. So how do we do that? I'm going to demonstrate with the kick real quick. We're going to make our kick in, and we're going to make our kick subtrack. And then we're going to send from contact, we're going to go to the I.O., we're going to send to kick in, and we're going to send to kick sub from the track with contact on it, the blasting room. Now, sends in Reaper, you need to tell the audio what it's doing after you make the send. So what is this audio doing? It's coming out of output 3 of the plugin, and it's going to input 1 and 2 on that track. Because output 3 is kick in, and we want to be coming in on the main input of kick in. We're then going to be sending from output 4, which is going to be kick out. And then we're going to be coming in on 1 and 2, because that's the main input of kick sub and kick in. So now if we play that groove again, we're going to be able to hear the kick. And if we wanted to keep going, we can do that with the snare. We'll make a snare top one. And we'll go and check and confirm snare top is coming out of output 5. So we go to the blasting room, I.O. We make a send to snare top. We make it coming out of mono 5. It's coming in on 1 and 2. And then we take a listen to the groove and we'll hear snare top. So now if you want to do that with the overheads, let's say, we'll make our overheads track. We'll set our send. But we now... Let's go back and double check. Our output of overheads is 13 and 14. So that's what we're sending from. So we're sending from the blasting room to overheads. And to see 13 and 14 on this, we have to go down here, go to our stereo source. We're going to select 9 and 10. And then when we go back to select it, we're going to see 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14. It's just so that when you select that drop down menu, it's not a huge massive numbers in your face and so now that that's set up let's mute these tracks so we just hear the overheads and there are your overheads so this is great this is what this preset with the blasting room is great for it has all of this preset so all you have to do is the routing on the your end in the DAW now let's say you're in a DAW that you're unfamiliar with and you want to make an aux send but you don't want to have to figure out what routing complexities go into routing that in the DAW you're working in because you're in an unfamiliar DAW. The blasting room is taking care of this. Say you want to make a kick, snare, and tom parallel track. Right now I'm sending the kick, snare, and toms to an auxiliary send. Auxiliary 1, as a matter of fact, inside the blasting room. So kick, snare, and toms are going to auxiliary 1 here. This is where things get a little confusing if you want to make your own outputs in contact. There's different outputs in contact than there are the plugin outs to reaper and so to explain that a little bit better you can see that the physical out is actually unassigned 13 and unassigned 14 but that correlates to our plugin out 23 and 24 so we want to make the next outputs of aux 1 be unassigned 15 and 16 and those will be plugin out 25 and 26 so to show that we're going to hit this we're going to go to unassigned 15 and 16 and then, as you can see, it's now plugging out 25 and plugging out 26. We're going to hit OK. We're going to close and reopen contact. We're going to make our new send track, which we're going to call KST. We're going to send from the blasting room to KST. And remember, we're coming out of 25 and 26. 
So we have to keep going down. And then we'll see 25 and 26. They're coming in on inputs one and two. And now we're just going to be getting a kick, snare, and tom send that we can use to slam or do whatever we want to. And I'll grab a fill just so we can hear those toms. And now we can do whatever we want to that track and we can slam it, we can leave it dry, we can blend it in. And it's just a really great way to be able to route without having to worry too much about your DAWs routing. And that's it, guys. That's how to route the blasting room out into Reaper. Make sure to check out the site for the other tutorials for the other DAWs.